Yo, what's up guys? This is Derek here with another Devil May Cry 5 video. And today we're going to be talking about nukes, which is how I refer to some of the most damaging moves and combinations of moves in the game. Now we're going to be taking a look at some of the options available to each of the three characters, and we're going to be stacking them up against one another to determine once and for all what are the most powerful combinations or nukes in the game. And we're not going to waste any time, we're going to kick things off right away with Nero. Now for starters, we're going to use Punchline, which is going to give us a really nice baseline to start comparing the rest of the moves. And we're going to get about 750 damage. Now, just to point out here, two things. First of all, Punchline will do the exact same damage whether you're in the air or on the ground, so both versions are identical. The other thing, which is really interesting, is that Nero's breaker moves do not get any kind of a damage boost when you're DT'd. Whether the move does 100 damage or 5,000 damage, what have you, you are not going to get any kind of a boost if you're in DT. So keep that in mind as we're going through the rest of the examples here in the video. Now, a really, really good option for Nero, obviously, is his fully charged Mega Buster. This thing freaking hurts, and I'll show you. 3,300 damage. Now, keep in mind, this is against a Halcana, and the move will actually do different amounts of damage depending on what enemy you're fighting against. As well, the damage can also vary depending on the type of throw that Nero does. So for example, the special assassination that Nero does on the ground against the Halcanas does 4,500 damage. And once again, the damage won't really change uh, whether you're in DT form or whether you're normal form. So definitely one of Nero's more powerful nukes for sure. All right, next up is Overture and the more specifically the Overture Bomb. Now overall, I was actually really surprised that this does so little damage. At 383 damage, like this move is really less than impressive. But let's try and see if we can beef up that damage a little bit. Uh, a common strategy is to combine more than one or a triple overture bomb and then detonate all three of them at once. So for the sake of argument, let's see what kind of damage output we can get. All right, so well closer to 1500. Now we did do about 100 damage doing the setups, but because we're looking at the combination as a whole, we can definitely incorporate all that damage right from ground one or ground zero. And so in total, we're looking at just shy of 1500 damage. So not too bad, not too bad at all. Okay, next up, let's take a look at one of Nero's most powerful base attacks, which is Showdown. Now you will notice that if you actually deactivate the DT transformation halfway through, that will affect your overall damage output. So this is one attack where you are definitely going to see a damage boost from the DT transformation compared to, let's say, the Devil Breaker attacks. But one cool thing that you can do, sorry about that, one cool thing that you can do is that if you use a fully charged charge shot where Nero is going to spit out the summon swords, combine that with the bringer knuckle which is where you press the uh, devil breaker button while you're charging up the move which is where he's going to throw out uh, two additional punches, you can actually boost up the damage for this move quite a bit. So let's take a look. So there we're getting about 1400, uh, about 14, yeah, around 1400, which is pretty freaking beefy for one move. But the only downside is that this is going to use up a, more or less all of your devil trigger. If you compare that to, let's say, the three overture bombs, you're going to be able to maintain all your devil trigger. There's not going to be any damage boost for you uh, detonating the bombs. Uh, but you're going to be using up three of your Devil Breaker arms. So there's a bit of an offset or a plus or minus to each variation. So let's take a look at the next option. Okay, next up we're going to look at one of the less obvious nukes for Nero, um, which I would have never thought of or considered a viable option until I saw a video that was put out on Twitter. And the idea behind this is that you combine EX Roulette Spin um, with Ragtime's ultimate which stops and slows down time if you combine uh, you can get about four to five 
reps of EX Roulette Spin. And combined, you're going to be looking at about two, like 1,500 to 2,000 damage roughly, which actually puts it further ahead than Showdown, for example. The only problem is, is that the execution of it is quite heavy, um, but I'll show you the gist of it right here. All right, that actually went a lot better than I thought it would. Um, once It does require a little bit of execution, but if you can manage to master the timing for that, the damage output is just absolutely enormous. And one of the really cool things that you can do is you can do this twice in a row. So you can use rag time, stop time, do you know your four to five reps, stop time again, do another four to five reps, and then go into a mega buster. And if you do everything well, with pseudo okay execution, uh, you should get something like this. Now in that particular clip, my execution wasn't anywhere near optimal. There's a lot of improvements and little small mistakes that I made in terms of my timing. So there's definitely some room for improvement there. But overall, you're looking at about a third of Virgil's life. And that's Dante Must Die difficulty, ladies and gentlemen. So it's arguably one of Nero's most powerful nukes outside um, the fully charged Mega Buster. So with that, that more or less wraps up everything with Nero. Let's move on to our main man, Dante. Now, when you think of a nuke for Dante, probably the first thing that comes to mind is going to be his real impact with Balrog. Now, unlike Nero, almost every move that Dante does while he's in DT is going to do more damage. So with that, we're looking at about a thousand, which is not bad. So let's see how Cascade with Double Kalina N actually stacks up against real impact. Seventeen hundred damage, baby. That is pretty freaking sexy. But while we're on this topic. If Devil Trigger impacts all of Dante's attacks, including his gun moves, then wouldn't that mean... I wonder... Holy shit! 13,500. Insert Dragon Ball Z gift, Vegeta pulling off the goddamn scouter, it's over 9,000! All right, sorry about that, squad. I got a little carried away. Let's move on and take a look at some of Dante's Sin Devil Trigger attacks. Now, surprisingly, um, the moves, a lot of the moves from this form don't do anywhere near as much damage as I thought. For example, the basic SDT combo, just, uh, just attack, 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 only does just over 700 damage. The ultimate move, Judgment, only does 1,000 damage? Like, 1,000? I don't know, my guess is that the numbers for this move are off, but it is pretty good to know. I would have thought that would actually be one of the more stronger attacks in the game. Now the Fireball Swarm that you get by holding down the Change Sword button, it's called the Loose. Now this is where you're starting to get in some, some pretty juicy damage. We're getting just shy of 2,000 here, but where you will see this form shine is in the last move that I'm going to show you, um, which is called Demolition. And this is the Orb of Destruction that you get by holding down the cha uh, Change Guns buttons. 3,500 damage. Sexy AF, that makes it Dante's second most powerful move just behind Meteor, but Meteor is absolute god tier, so this is the next strongest move, and with that, it concludes all of Dante's move list, all of his most powerful moves, and we can finally move on to V. Let's take a look at our last character, which is V, and for the most part, V really only has one nuke. Everybody already knows exactly what it is, so let's see the damage. Four 
1,451 on the dot. So all in all, not bad. You're more or less looking at one of Nero's DT showdowns or a double Kalina cascade attack with V. So he's right up there with the big boys. I mean, outside of the level three meteor with Dr. Faust, with Dante. But I mean, that move can basically one shot most bosses in the game. So we don't necessarily take that into consideration. So there you have it. That's for the most part, all of the most damaging nukes in the game. We have Dante's Dr. Faust Meteor sitting at god tier, way up up high. Uh, next up, we have Nero's Mega Buster, which is again about four to 5,000 damage, depending on the character. Remember, DT doesn't affect it, so save your DT meter when you're using any of Nero's breakers. And then next up, we have Nero Showdown. We have this nightmare attack, which is called Domination. And then we have uh, Dante's uh, uh, Double Kalina and Cascade. And they're more or less all sitting at about mid tier. So there's your S, A, and B tier nukes. I'm going to end the video there. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the love and support, guys. I'm sorry that I took a little bit of a hiatus and I haven't been making any new content. We're mixing things up today with the webcam. This is how the new format that I want to test out. And so I'm going to be trying to upload a brand new DMC video for you guys every single day moving forward. Whatever today's topic is, whether it's nukes, whether it's a boss, whether it's an enemy, we're going to be taking things into the lab. We're going to be taking things into the field with different missions. So I'm really excited for the next couple weeks and the, ch uh, the content that's going to be coming. We also got some new games that are going to be coming to the channel, Sekiro and Mortal Kombat 11. Those will be coming within the next two weeks. So lots of stuff to look forward to, and I could not be more excited. Once again, thank you guys for everything. You guys are absolutely amazing, and I appreciate all your support. I will see you in the next video. Peace. Don't you dare say it's a jackpot!